What's up guys? Welcome back. It's your boy Worst Having Gamer and we are back playing some Soul Hunters guys today. We are about to awaken the new hero. Rakash is about to be unleashed onto the world and if you haven't already checked it out, I made my spotlight video on this guy and I let you guys know I kind of had a feeling this guy was going to be really good in raids or really good in Hall of Legend and I was 100% correct. This guy is a beast at Hall of Legends. My god. He's literally used in every Hall of Legend that we have available, pretty much. So, I mean, essentially right now, uh, you have to have him for your raids. If you want to be really, really top, it's kind of a must-have. Mine is not that great right now, but it doesn't really matter. We're about to awaken him right now. I can work on him a little further. I was able to take him to four stars, but that was it. It didn't cost me more because I got a little bit lucky on my uh, drops. That's the only reason why I took him to four stars. Other than that, I would not have taken him to four stars. I guarantee you that. But either way, let's check it out. So his basically his all of his attacks, guys, is just one. It's just his spear throw. It's insane. His ultimate. Once he goes into that rage mode, this guy just destroys everything in his path and is able to do so much damage. It's unreal. But once we awaken him now, he will be able to do a lot more damage. So let's take a look. While dealing a minimum of 150,000. Boy, 150,000. That's dirt off my shoulder. As they say. As the young lads say nowadays. But uh, I digress. I'm going to put in some heroes that are not going to do much damage here, guys. Let's just... Uh... Ah, let's go you... We're going to try to avoid some heavy hitters. Right, let's go Ling Ling. My girl Ling Ling. I will, I will get stronger and stronger. Yes, you will, actually. Oh, yeah. Pia. So we're almost halfway there on the first stage. So look at this, guys. Look at this ultimate here. Pia. Another challenge, huh? Easy. And uh, we've already reached our goal by the second stage. That's easy. But for a hero like this guy, Victor, remind, for a hero like, like this guy, this kind of an awakening is simple as hell. It shouldn't take you a, a, even a slight bit of a challenge because his main attribute is just dealing a lot of damage, right? So now for somebody else who's not... Let's say a support hero or a healer, and they made their awakening challenge to be... Oh, they have to deal 150,000 damage. Now, that is a real challenge. Difficult to do, because obviously they're not really a damage dealer. But I'm missing the transformation! Ooh. Okay, so, me like. I actually like that. Looks pretty dope. P purple hair. Hmm. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Looks a lot badass right now. A lot better. The bloodthirsty looks Amazonian to me. Looks kind of like a shaman. I don't know. A lot of different things all in one with him. I don't even know what to expect. But he's got a mask on going on. So I like that. Alrighty then. So we've unlocked ruins. I can't. Eh, I don't really have anything good to give him right now. For pet wise. Let's see what pet I would suggest you give to uh, Rakash here. So obviously you want to go with high Physical damage, health is always good as well, but mostly high damage. Anything that's going to raise his physical attack. If you have M Mika, that would be great. So, out of these heroes here, let's see, 7% physical attack boost. With Wall is there. Mm, so, my choices are a little bit limited right now because I've used up all my other ones. But, if I, was, if I had to choose, guys, I would probably go with Wallace. 7% physical and 7% health. 50 seconds after his master enters the battlefield, Walls will give his master a speed boost and increase their dodge. That is just more speed on this guy. It's insane. When his master uses his or her ultimate, attacks the enemy, dealing physical damage and something. Uh, this one is not that great, but just increasing his speed, increasing his attack power, and just going apes. Bullshit on everybody, just destroying everything in your path. All right, now let's break down his awakening here. What doesn't kill Rakash only makes him stronger. <clears throat> Rakash attack 
speed increases, the lower his health falls. Attack speed increases 7.3 for every 10% low. All right, so let's upgrade this here. Let's see where it will be at max power. 11%, 11.2 for every 10% lost. Wow, are you kidding me right now? So if this guy drops to about 10% health, he will have literally almost 100% attack speed and increase, 100% increased attack speed. Plus, his ultimate here, uh, Rakash uses the remaining 40% of his health. So these are intertwined. So he's going to use his health, right? Which is going to actually increase his attack because of his awakening. And then out of the health is going to get even faster, greatly raises his physical attack and attack speed. So it's so much intertwined with his awakening, makes him that much better here. That's pretty actually cool, very incredible. I love what I'm seeing here. So let's go ahead, guys. Let's take a look at this guy in a battle. All right, so for this battle, guys, I'm actually going to take you into the Hall of Legend and let's break down what we're going to do in Hall of Legend and how we're going to use Rakash against Kong here. So, all right, so this team is the team I used in campaign, so it's automatically saved. The team that we're actually going to run in here is going to be a little bit different. But you, Rodin is very important to the raids as well, right? Raids and Hall of Legend, I mean. Rodin is essential. You must have yourself a really, really strong Rodin if you want to do good in those areas. Now, let's take a look at who else we want to use here. Glacia. Glacia does really well at healing your, your allies here. So let's use her. And I'm pretty sure the other heroes that you must use... Well, one of them is Ling Ling. Where's my Ling Ling? All right, so there she is. So we're going to use Ling Ling here as well. Next up. Hmm, where are we looking? Sumiko. Sumiko does really, really great at Kong, guys. She raises your hero's attack power. Plus, her attack does fairly amount of good damage and attack speed as well. All right, so that's another thing you want to use. And last but not least, we're going to have to go with a Rakash. Obviously, we are... You know, it's a spotlight on Rakasha's Awakening, but as you can see, mine is only 4 stars, orange plus 2, not that great. I'm going to see if I can hire a really good one from my guild here. And look at this, we've got one, 5 stars with a legendary pet, looking wonderful here. So we're going to, you know, go ahead and we're going to test it out with this guy here. So let's go ahead and let's see how we're going to do here. So typically, what you want to do with Kong is not really much strategy, guys. Try to bulk up as many ultimates as you can, right? And deal as much damage as you possibly can here. Let's just keep going here. Now with Ling Ling, you don't have to wait for her protect because nobody's really going to die. You can spam her ultimate right away and just get that attack boost. We're going to wait on this here. Let's go three ultimates. Alright. Now with Rakash or Rodin, normally you want to use them as fast as possible. Right, you don't want to wait too long for Rakash and Rodin. Like here, I'm waiting for Glacia, and we're good. All right, let's go with this buff here as well. All right, so we're at eight mil with 40 seconds left. Almost, this is actually doing this amount of damage here. Let's go with these three here. I'm waiting for Glacia to use my Ling Ling. There we go, double. Oh no! Okay, I can eat these two right here. And these two here. Alright, so now I'm not going to use any more ultimates. Oh, unless these two. Alright, that's the last two ultimates I want to use there. The last 5-6 seconds, just let them go with their normal attack. You don't want to kill any more time. You just want them to get as much power as possible. And we got 29th rank, which is not the best. But you're going to have to keep trying at it, guys. Uh, RNG, obviously, it's dependent. On every every battle is going to be a little bit different, but theoretically, this is the team that you want to use. You want to beef up your Rakash as much as possible, and you can already see what this guy can do. Insane amount of damage in the Hall of Legends. So for right now, this guy is a must-have Hall of Legend hero. But uh, as we've seen with other Hall of Legend heroes, they come and they go, as was Petros and others that we can think of in the past. Even Eldor at one point was a must-own Hall of Legend hero. This is the case with a lot of the new heroes. Once they drop them, you have to have them if you want to do good. And then they slowly fade out until the next guy comes along, all right? So, you know, be careful about that. But for now, this guy is good. And that's about it, guys. That's really all I have to say about Rakash. I'm impressed with his Hall of Legend damage, but I'm not surprised.
Uh, this is to be expected. What really would surprise me if this guy kills it in the arena, which I haven't seen just yet. So, still waiting to see on what goes on in the arena with him. Can't see that crazy of a, a difference maker, but I could be wrong. I could be wrong. Anyways, guys, that's pretty much it for today's video. Awakening on our boy Rakash. Hope you enjoy that. I will catch you guys on the next video. All right. So then, have a good morning, good afternoon, and good night.